the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Stop right with you. So I think, yes, sir. <laughs> so, and the, so the conversation is an inward conversation, an inward hearing, an inward direction from the Holy Spirit speaking to our spirit. But the default problem is carnality, reasoning, and when we're reasoning on the same, you know, things of man's level, that's when we get off track. It's, it's so, so, you know, we talked about a lot of these things. So now, it is the condition of the heart that determines what's going to happen to you. Because, see, it's now, I, when I looked at you, and I'm like, okay, so, so how do these men end up in the midst of these people that Judy's talking about? Hmm. You said they crept in unaware. They what? what? They crept in unaware. <laughs> I'm trying to figure, okay, but he, you, you're right to the saints. You, you're right, you're right to the saints. Yeah, I'm talking to the saints. Yeah. He, he, he talks about, look, he said, it's really interesting. Where is he? He has the crept in. Okay, go ahead. Well, yeah. He, he said, uh, I'm writing to people who are sanctified. Yes, yes. <laughs> to those who have been sanctified and preserved. Wow. Who wrote, who wrote you? Because, you know, Paul said that same thing too, didn't he? Moses said that same thing too, didn't he? Remember Moses? He, he said that, he said this was going to happen too, didn't he? Now listen now. It is, it is that, it is that feature that he's trying to, that he's trying to bring home to you. Not wow. only have you been set apart in Christ, but you, you, you have been also in that setting apart. It is God's heart to preserve you in that, in Christ. He is not intended for you to fall away. Mm -hmm. He is not intended for you to be drawn away. Okay. And that is that is that is what he's wanting because these men that are crept in unaware of these ungodly men, it is the, it is the fact that these men demonstrate that they he said, look, these men are like the people that God brought out of Egypt. Yeah. <laughs> he did. And, and like I said, well, he brought them out, he but he didn't out. finish what he started. Yeah. He didn't bring them out to destroy them. He right. brought them out to take them into the promised land. Right. Brought them out to take them in. Yes, sir. He ended up having to destroy them. Now, why did he have to destroy them? He said because of their unbelief. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. So, so he, he trying to let you know, look, God set you apart in Christ. God will preserve you in Christ. But you better be real careful because you can fall away. Mm. Which they did. I mean, using them as an example, they did. They fell away. And I'm talking about just in, just in that, I'm talking about just in that, that little short time where God talked to them on Mount Sinai. They got a golden calf came out. Uh, not only did they fall away, he goes on to say, look here, the angels fell away. Oh, Lord, yeah, the Jews. <laughs> he, said, he said, Sodom, Gomorrah, and the surrounding cities Woo. fell away. Woo! So it's, 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 it's this, this, this thread of departure in various ways, whether it be in going after strange flesh or not keeping your first estate, Yes, sir. What is this unbelief in what God has purposed? All of these things really describe in the essence, I, but I would call it for a, a departing from God. Yeah. And he's going to tell them that, look, these men that have crept in among you, 
Okay. If you ain't careful. Yes, sir. For God is perfect to do it requires until the sanctifying you and preserving you. If you ain't careful. Yes, sir. Now, now, is, is it possible that the, just a thought, that we talk, these certain men crept in unaware, is it possible that they, it was not like they were intentionally, is it possible some of us, because of the subtlety of the mindfulness of, the, of man, it is it, crept in to the midst of everybody. In other words, is it is it not so much of a, a specific person, but a specific way of thinking that crept in, right? You know, back to the default of uh, of, of our man. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use Peter again. Peter, Jesus said, "You are manful. You're savoring the things of man." And he was in the midst of of, of the teaching of Christ. And it was so subtle, right? It was, in, it was in that same chapter from, you heard from God, this revelation, I'm gonna build my church on. But then when the next setting, get behind me, Satan, because you're mindful of the things of man, is that crepping in is, I, want, I, I guess I'm trying to say is that that crepping in unaware is is the is the default of, of of the saints going back to reasoning based on the things of man you know in other words these are not specific people what do you it's, think about it? you know how many people have we embraced in in, 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 in in the religious church who had a facade of godliness who we just well, we just knew that love God. We just committed in love God. Only to find out later on. They had, they had, yeah. Jimmy, this is Jimmy Swagger, for example, right? You can be, see, you can be fooled. Yeah. Do you think that, but. I can be fooled. <laughs> wait, wait, bitch. <laughs> is it, do you think that they were at one time enlightened, though, but they just. You know that 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 subtlety of pulling away, subtlety pushed him into the carnality. In the case of okay, in the case of those that were brought out of Egypt. Yes, sir. Okay, now Paul said they all passed through the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. They were all baptized on the Moses. Okay. They all drank from that spiritual rock that followed them. Right. Yet with, yet with some of them, but with, 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 with the majority of them, he was not satisfied. So here we got all these people that come out of Egypt. The, the offspring of Abraham, those to whom the promise pertained, God himself has sent Moses down to be faithful to, to, to fulfill what he promised Abraham. Yes, sir. He brought them, he had done miraculous things in Egypt. Yes, sir. He did a overwhelming miraculous thing to bring them out of out of Egypt to the Red Sea. He done an overwhelming thing to preserve them. That's what Jews said. Jews said you sanctified and preserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's taking them through desert. And he's feeding them, watering them, protecting them. But they still don't get it. Yeah, right, right. Because you know, they, they, they show, because I like the first set of the group, right? Not so much the ones in the wilderness yet, but like you said, is they, they saw the plague, they saw the situation, they saw the deliverance from Egypt. That journey, some people say it could be, took up to 11 days. I don't know how long it took, but they sent spies into the land in numbers. They came back. Yep, it's flowing with milk and honey, but there's some giants in the land. And they didn't, they went, they wouldn't go in because they couldn't believe, they couldn't accept the testimony of the past to get them in. Um, because because they're reasoning as brute beasts. Yeah, right. They saw right. The whole, this. the whole thing about this this, this trip up to the promised land is that they were listen now. They were all apparently 
picked out by God. <laughs> they got into the number by God, right? But they fail to be re be transformed and come formed, and therefore they therefore they were disqualified at the doorstep. Woo! We